So today we're going to be getting into uh, the natural polyamine pathway. Uh, before we get into it, uh, I'm just going to go over what uh, some polyamines are. Um, they're low molecular weight, positively charged molecules. Um, they've got amines on them, uh, but you know, similar to monoamines, they have multiple amines, which is why they're polyamines. Um, <clears throat> they're useful uh, in a lot of different physiological cellular functions, um, cell growth, cell proliferation, uh, differentiation, immunity, gene regulation, DNA stability. Uh, there's a lot of different roles that they play in the biological pathways. And uh, it's not, you know, it's one of these things that's still being uh, newly uh, explored. So uh, a lot of research right now is being tailored towards uh, specific enzymes within this pathway. So before we get into uh, the catabolic uh, process, processes, I guess, in the series, I'm going to go over the basic uh, pathway for uh, synthesis of these uh, polyamines. So the three natural polyamines are putrescine, spermidine, and spermine. To get there, we start with arginine, um, and then it is oxidized by arginase, and that makes a product of ornithine and urea. It can also make agmatine, but we're not going to cover that in this video. From there, ornithine will be decarboxylated to form this amine, this polyamine, with two amine groups. <laughs> From there, uh, we will see that putrescine is converted to spermidine by aminopropyl uh, transferase and spermidine synthase uh, dually. Spermidine is further converted to spermine down here at the bottom from spermine synthase. But one thing that I do want to cover is the mechanism of methionine adeno, uh, adenosyl transferase. Uh, that transforms methionine to S-adenosyl uh, methionine, which is adomet, and uh, that's then decarboxylated by S-adenosyl uh, methionine decarboxylase to form that aminopropyl intermediate uh, DC adomet that you see here that gets translated back. So this is a basic stepwise process. Um, and you can pause the video or go back and, and break down this uh, basic stepwise process. But in the next video, we'll be covering the uh, metabolic pathway.